I know you haven't heard from me for a while. Look what I finally got. Of course, it's in the tin, which I'm not thrilled with. It seems like it has a lot of spyware and crap, and I'm trying to figure things out, so I'm not shooting that from this right now. Um, let me put that back in here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Today, I'm doing an Ulta unboxing. Well, I crushed the box to put it in the recycling bin when I bring it out to show you. Um, I was almost all out of my absolute favorite waterproof eyeliner. I highly recommend if you need a really good waterproof, reliable eyeliner that is not terribly hard to take off, uh, but really does take it last a long time and it doesn't break the bank. It's by Maybelline. It's called the Ultra Liner. I swear by this, it's really good. You can shower in it, you can swim in it, you can club in it all night. You shouldn't sleep in your makeup, but if you have to, you know, you got company, this stuff works. I love it. Um, and my Ulta order, now, they had a buy one, get one half off sale on uh, CoverGirl Cosmetics and on, on, you know, certain products and on Maybelline. And also, if you got $20 worth of CoverGirl products, you got this purple makeup bag. Blue, right? Oh, by the way, uh, my hair looks blue. I assure you it's not. It's purple. For some reason, when you're doing any kind of digital photography, it uh, tends to uh, overtake the blue, and unless you do certain color adjustments, which I don't know how to do in video, it just kills me that it looks blue. I assure you it is absolutely not. It's darker than my computer is, but it is purple. Uh, so let me show you what I got. Now, these are the... Um, Cover Girl Super Sizer Fibers. I got one in black and one in black brown. You know, buy one, get one half off. Uh, I got the Cover Girl Professional Washable Waterproof Mascara. Now, I've gotten these before and they actually have nice coverage, uh, length and thickness, and they're not too expensive. And they're not too hard to wash off. You can use uh, an oil to take them off, or you can actually use soap and water. Or um, uh, Avon makes a good uh, eye makeup remover that feels like an emulsion, it's not really oily. Or you can use baby oil, you can use olive oil, you can use uh, coconut oil, lots of things you can use to take waterproof uh, makeup off. Uh, I got the Katie Cat Eye Mascara in the Peri Blue, and uh, buy one, get one half off. I got the Katie Cat Matte Lipstick. Uh, it's a lighter purple than I usually would like. This one is called... It is called Cosmo Kitty. Uh, yeah, I really like her ad campaign with that. Uh, she's a cute girl. I'm happy that she got her makeup sponsorship. Um, now, what they gave me inside the uh, little makeup bag is uh, CoverGirl makes a, they call it a colored balm called O Sugar, and the color is Spice. And I took everything out of the packaging before I did this so I wouldn't take forever. Some of the uh, eyeliners are really hard to get the plastic out. Um, this is photographing a little bit peachier than it actually looks to me. Sometimes when you adjust the color to get, say, your hair right, then all the other colors go off. Like one time I was trying to fix uh, what my hair looked like, and so then the hair was perfect, but then sometimes the yellows turned out chartreuse, sometimes the hot pinks turned out salmon, that was kind of irritating. So, um, they, let's see, um, I got, uh, NYX Color Mascara, and uh, it's a purple color, um, what is it actually called, um, I hope you don't hear that noise in the background. I thought that I didn't have any sound in the background. Anyway, I got a Maybelline Lasting Drama Eye Studio Eyeliner uh, in turquoise. And I got some Ulta eyeliners in different shades of purple. I don't know how they are showing up, and this plum I don't like as much because it looks much more muted, it looks more brown. I got another shade of purple, and 
I got a gold. Yeah, it wasn't called gold, but it was gold to me. And, uh, and I, what I really wanted is I got this, uh, mix brush. It's actually supposed to be a contour color for white people, but it actually, it's, it's called taupe. I mean, I've been looking for this for months because so many of the uh, bloggers recommend this for extremely pale skin. But it looks so dark. I mean, look at this. I mean, what's good about it is that it is a cool color. However, we're supposed to have a color that's almost gray. It's light. If this was a light coat, this would be better. Um, this looks a lot like this Max Factor color called, it's a wet and dry eyeshadow called Ice Mocha. I got it at a 99 cent store for 50 cents a couple of weeks, last year. Um, and another color that I've been uh, starting to use for contouring is from the Max Factor palette. I was going to use the one here, but the only things you don't want a cross to use for contour. Um, now, they send you samples when you order for Ulta. One of the samples I got was for uh, the NARS. Orgasm uh, brush, which is extremely expensive. I don't even want to know what it is. However, if you get the Artmatic Jewel Blush, you'll find that this color is an almost knockoff. Now, you want to pay 30 some dollars for the NARS Orgasm. I'm sure this is clear, you can't see. Um, for 50 cents in Atlanta City, 99 cents for the choice. Uh, another one of the samples I got was from It Cosmetics. If you're, um, 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 I can't think. Concealer. Supposed to be 24 hour waterproof. Bye bye under eye. Of course, they send me the color medium, which is way too dark for me, but they didn't know that I was pressed with albino when I made the order, so I forgive them. Um, I'm sure there was something else in the order. Oh. I wanted to show you some other things that I have liked to use for my contouring. Now, this is from Lord & Taylor. It's a, a chubby kind of pencil, uh, and the color is called Putty. Uh, they don't call them chubby pencils. They call them Eyeshadow Supreme. But, uh, by Lord & Berry. Again, I got this at Atlantic City 99 cent store. Um, I have used this lighter, not, not the middle color, but this color here. From CoverGirl Professional Eye Enhancers, and that color is called Oak. Again, it doesn't. Some of you could probably use that as a highlighter, but when you're really, really pale like this, you don't want something that would work on somebody with much darker skin tones because you have to uh, blend it out so much. And uh, I have, I haven't gotten a beauty blender yet. I, I'm using this, and. Um, oh, another thing that I have used for highlighting is from ELF Cosmetics. It's one of their lipsticks. And you see what that looks like here. And that color is Fantasy, if you're looking for a contour shade. And, and these lipsticks are only a dollar from ELF. ELF Eye Lip Space. They're a good, uh, reasonably priced cosmetics company. Some of the things are not great, like their mascaras. I got them. They were really uh, dried out and stuff. But some of the things Elf does well, I do recommend your lipstick. Well, this is what I got from Ulta. It was a nice little haul, and uh, we didn't get our mail misdirected this time, which is really great. Um, now that you know that I'm back, I've got a new computer. I haven't figured out yet, but uh, I'm back in action. Good to see you. Happy holidays from Leather Rock. Talk to you soon.